Governor DeSantis is hitting you for claiming the retirement age is, quote, way, way too low. He said, quote, I don't know why she's saying that. So are you saying that? Where do I you have stand never on that? once said that. I never once said that. A strong denial by candidate Nikki Haley to the idea that she said that the retirement age is too low. But unfortunately for her, it appears that she did in fact say that. Let's see, let's see this. Well, wait, 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 wait. In Bloomberg interview, you said um, anyone who says they'll leave America bankrupt, Social Security will go bankrupt, Medicare will, so we don't touch anyone's retirement. But go to people like my kids in their 20s and tell them the rules haven't changed. Change the retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Yes, for those in their 20s. But I have never said retirement age is way too low for everyone else. I mean, he's totally misrepresenting the facts. That's what he's done. Ron continues to lie because he's losing. But the reality is, that is what I have always said, is America should keep her promises every time. But rather than saying you're not going to touch it like Ron says, we have to touch it. But we have to also be honest and over communicate with those in their 20s that this is what we're going to do. But if we do this, we'll make sure you have something to go forward with. And it's also letting seniors and those in their 40s and 50s know, don't worry, we're not looking to touch yours. We're looking to actually save it so that you have something when your time comes. Yeah, so she got caught out and she got caught out because she has been trained as all politicians are that you could just lie and they generally are not gonna have your actual quote ready to go. In this case, Brett Baer did his job. And then she had to fumble and say, yeah, no, I, I never said that for everybody. That's not the denial that you just made. And you are saying for millions upon millions of Americans, it is too low and it will be raised. If she gets to be in charge, you are going to work to slave away for years longer for the benefits that you will at that point have paid into for decades and decades. That's what she's saying. And we want to play the full clip because it's obviously very consequential. Here is what she actually said. The third rail that nobody wants to touch is the entitlement, Social Security, Medicare. How would you manage the entitlements to try to start getting our arms around soaring debt? Well, you know, you've got multiple candidates on that stage that said they wouldn't touch entitlements, including Trump. And any candidate that says they're not going to touch entitlements means that they're basically going to go into the go into office and then leave America bankrupt. Social Security is going to mm -hmm. go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare is going to go bankrupt in eight. So the way we deal with it is we don't touch anyone's retirement or anyone who's been promised in. But we go to people like my kids in their 20s when they're coming into the system and we say the rules have changed. We change change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Instead of cost of living increases, we do it based on inflation. We limit the benefits the on the wealthy and we expand Medicare Advantage plans. What's the right age there then, Ambassador? Well, I think we have to do the numbers. We've got to figure out what it is. But what we do know is 65 is way too low and we need to increase that. We need to do it according to life expectancy. We need to do the numbers, but I'm not gonna do the numbers right now because if I say it's gonna look really bad. But for some people who I am sure are not watching right now, we're gonna make you work for years longer. For those of you who are older and are watching and definitely will be voting, particularly in a primary, um, no, you're saved. But if you're young, you're screwed. You know how much you love your job. You know how much you love going to work. Well, I'm gonna let you do it for two, three, four, five more years or whatever. And why not? We have to have it adapt for life expectancy, which I will remind you is going down. We've reported right. on that already. People are living over the last few years less than they used to. And she wants to make you go longer before you can finally retire. And the whole thing about this and why I care about this so much is, she presents herself and all of them do because Trump has previously talked about making changes to social security. Ron DeSantis has also said we need to change the age. They all do and they all say just the young people because they think that you are too stupid to prioritize it when choosing a candidate. Um, they all say that because they say we're the responsible ones. We need to do this, otherwise social security won't be solvent. They're being irresponsible by saying that we don't have to raise the age and they're pretending that that is the only thing that you can do. You either keep the age the same or you raise it. As if you couldn't, for instance, raise the cap on the money that goes from your income into Social Security. Right now, you pay a certain percentage on every check that goes to fund Social Security. Everybody does on income up to $250,000 a year. And then beyond that, you don't have to pay anymore. Why? Because people who make more than $250,000 a year don't want to, and they own people like Nikki Haley. 
in December of 2022, the CBO did an analysis. And if you just remove that cap, don't make any other change, it funds Social Security until almost 2050. And yet she's not even talking about that possibility because she doesn't want to. She doesn't want you to know that there are alternatives. She wants you to believe that the only way you're gonna retire at all is if you have to grind it out for years longer. Meanwhile, she is protecting her wealthy donors and all the people that she goes to fancy dinner parties with who don't want to have to pay more into Social Security, to pay what they should pay to make sure that everybody has the retirement that they deserve. Jackson, I'm gonna give the final couple of minutes to you. Well, you know, there's just no effective way to sell these kinds of policies. Because even if you say this is just for the younger people so that they can plan 20, 30 years ahead, it's not just for the younger people. It's for people who are maybe five to 10 years underneath that bracket. You know, mm -hmm. like if you're not 65, it'll, that this more, uh, most heavily impacts people who may be 55, 60 years old who are getting there. You know, and especially too for a lot of people who work in uh, you know more labor centric jobs, this is really going to put a lot of pain on people if they're not getting paid more. If you're not talking about paying people extra money to work longer, then what difference does it make? Um, but also, as we know, this is why Republican uh, the Republican establishment. Is so heavy on culture wars because if they're not, then they have to sell ideas like this. Or we're going to take away, uh, you know, Medicare in some type of way. Benefits programs are always bad. You really can't sell that to people. Um, so, uh, th but but honestly, I'd say that uh, Nikki, that's about as good as it gets in terms of you know handling those questions. Uh, because I mean, what are you really going to say uh, to sell people on the idea that? they shouldn't be able to relax. 100%. Yeah, and you're totally right about the, the entire purpose of all of the culture war stuff. The entire reason that there is a Fox News, that there are independent right wingers. The only reason that people like Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh and Michael Knowles, John Kirk, and all of them are funded by the wealthy is to protect that wealth. Because they want you to be thinking about the fact that, did you hear that there's a trans junior high swimmer in Wisconsin? And not realize that they're getting into office to make sure that this change doesn't happen, that they don't raise the cap, that instead you have to work longer. They're getting into office to cut corporate taxes while telling you that whether a second grader might be by or not is the most important thing you should focus all of your attention on. They are obviously distractions that some people in media are being paid very handsomely to focus you on while you're being robbed behind your back. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.